So after what feels like having waited for an eternity for this box to arrive, it's finally here. Blood Music's Emperor the Complete Works. It's one hell of a hell of a product. It's absolutely massive in scope and literal size, as you can see. Well, let's take a look at all the goodies inside. As you might be able to see on the video right now, the box itself is decorated all around with Gustav's amazing artwork, as seen on several of the Emperor albums, to give it a complete feel of that this is an actual discography in the box. I was lucky enough to have ordered the box in 2015, which meant that you would get a pre-order incentive in the form of the Wrath of the Tyrant demo replica looks just like the original pressing complete with a fold-out booklet as they came back in the day crazy to think a bunch of teenagers dressed up in corpse paint would get this far beautiful on top of that because that wasn't the only pre-order incentive you would get blood music included a print handwritten lyrics to Inno a Satana, signed by Isan himself and the Wrath of the Tyrant and Lord of the Storms, signed by what looks like the entire lineup. For people who order, I think there's still some copies left this year or have done so last year, you can't get these anymore, but those lucky few that did order it in 2015 now have these precious gems. Now on to the main course, the records themselves. Presentation is absolutely amazing. Sleeves are entirely black, they all come in a format like this. And they have a numeral, Roman numeral on the front with a die cut through which you can see the cover behind. The records are presented in a trifold sleeve, again with the artwork that was present in the original records. This one is special because it has a 7 inch for As the Shadows Rise. Everything retains the original artwork, as one should do when making a box like this. The records themselves look pretty amazing too. I picked the clear variety of these, which I will show you in a second. Again, all original artwork on here. Stunning artwork. Sleeves are printed as well on the inside, which is a bonus. It just makes it look a lot better. Most of these albums have their artwork printed in the original fashion as I just showed you with the Rough the Tyrant demo and here the self-titled EP. But every album as far as I know is also printed in a monochrome fashion. It's a stylistic choice and I really like it. 
makes it feel makes it as if the whole box was uh, given the right attention it deserved the material on this player is amazing and the presentation should reflect that as well so good job there blood music now, everything I've been showing you so far, stylistically, as every fan should know, has been uh, more or less very primitive black metal. Uh, the, the kind of the blueprint from Norwegian black metal you'd expect. Up to this album. This is probably their most famous album for introducing the world to black metal infused with uh, classical elements. Which is how Emperor put themselves on the map by adding a lot of synthesizers. This album on, it, it sounds nothing like their demo material. Again, great presentation. Looks vastly different when put next to each other. The Anthems uh, album really shows through the die cut on the front because of the green cover it looks stunning again this uh, record is special because in the ca in this sleeve there's also the reverend cp which introduced the world to emperor's second album before it came out nine equilibrium showed another transformation for the Emperor with them infusing lots and lots of progressive elements into the music. These also have bonuses in the sleeves, kind of struggling to get it out, in the form of posters, the artwork from the era. Their debut album comes with a similar poster. Then it's on to the live albums. First up, the Life Ceremony album. Their final album, Prometheus, which is, I think, the most controversial album during the course of their career for being vastly different from everything they've done up to that point. And lots of future material from Eason would sound just like this album. I love it. One of the best metal albums out there, in my opinion. This is Live Inferno. from, I think, their reun reunion period. My favorite live album by them, the Live at Wacken Open Air 2006 album, A Night of Imperial Wrath. Fourteenth release in this box, which is simply called Bonus Tracks and Rarities. 
this one has a lot of material on here. It consists out of the Torrens versus Emperor split with without the Torn side because this is an Emperor box after all. A bunch of cover tracks ranging from Bathory, Celtic Frost, Hellhammer, Merciful Fate, Dark Throne and even Mayhem. And alternate versions of some classic songs such as Moon Over Kara Share and In Longing Spirit, remastered versions of those. Pretty cool. The artwork of this album features the front cover for the Torn Split, a compilation album, and a bunch of old pictures and flyers. The sleeves for this, before I close up, show pictures of Emperor in their very early days, corpse paint riddled and everything. The box ends with a book, hardcover book, called Into the Infinity of Darkness 1991-2016 and it briefly goes over the band's history and a lot of their old pictures. Old and new I might add. Not going to show you everything, just skimming through it. Finally, and I have to stand up for this because it's on my turntable. This set wouldn't be complete without an official Emperor logo slip map. Simple but beautiful and a fun addition to the box itself. The box itself it's uh, very hard to see, but it's padded on the inside so that your sleeves don't damage. And that's it. That's the whole box. It, w it used to cost around 700 and if you're lucky and quick enough, you can still get one of these, minus the pre-order bonuses. But if you're a fan of Emperor, or just Black Metal in general, this is a must-own item. Expensive for sure, but... The whole box is, it, it's as complete as it can get, basically. All the records have gotten a new master. They're pressed on the 45 RPM records. And you can get them in black, marble and clear. So lots of options and lots of things to like for fans. So that was my unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please keep spinning these records.